Hello you lovely people, how are you all doing this beautiful day? I am Eshna and I welcome you back to my channel. Today is the second edition for the Bella Vita perfume reviews. I have got three more testers left. The first part is already shared so you have already seen by now. I have uh, only three uh, perfumes left with me. In that range I have got gold, rose and glam. And today it's going to be a review for these three fragrances right here. But before we get into the video, please spare a moment to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon next to it so that you are notified of all my future uploads. Now, without rambling any further, let's get started. Before I talk about the perfumes, let me quickly cover what's on my lips today. I'm wearing a combination of two lipsticks, first being uh, this very old Oriflame lipstick. This is from one of their uh, Lux ranges, I believe. I don't remember exactly what was the range, but this is called Chestnut, Honey Chestnut, one of the favorite colors that I can imagine when it comes to lipsticks. This is how it looks like. And this is a creamy one. On top of it, I have a color bar lipstick, which is uh, called Addictive Magenta. and you can see how much I have used, only this bit is left and I am always trying to finish up lipsticks. So this is the other one. So I have uh, mixed both of these. The packaging is very old. So I have this and that is what is on my lips. Now with the lips covered, let's get started with the perfume. Now let me first talk about this one. This is called the Glam Variant. Uh, I still have the testers, the full sizes if I at all purchase, uh, which of the full sizes I'll purchase that will come later on if I am purchasing because I have a lot of fragrances. So if I get a taste of some fragrance that I absolutely love then only I'll purchase. If uh, not then that's not going to be the case because even in testers form I am able to experience how the fragrances are. So let's get on with Glam. Uh, the packaging I'm not covering for testers plastic bottle with a black just uh, sticker on top with uh, the text written in golden and that is pretty much it. It's a basic test of packaging. The bottle on the other hand looks nice if I uh, can find. Of course I'll find it on. I'll leave an image of the 100ml bottle right here on screen so that you can see. Ah, okay. Glam is just as the name justifies. It's a very gorgeous scent. Now by gorgeous scent, what I mean, this is a party appropriate scent. This is not a regular scent that you will be wearing to office and all. You can, but it will be overwhelming. First, you won't be able to spritz it a lot because it's strong. Then also, it will be slightly overwhelming in the close proximity of an office. On the contrary, on a uh, wedding or a party or any such occasions, it will rock as well. Let me quickly cover the notes and then I'll talk a bit more about this in detail. The top note has got pink pepper and mandarin which actually helps with the, yeah, which actually helps with the fruity bit a more. I mean the first spritz you will get a slight hint of the spiciness but the fruity part is the dominating one. So if you are not into spicy fragrances like me, like I am Sitting on the fence when it comes to spicy fragrances, I still like this. But this kind of proves that uh, this can be loved by people who are not into spicy fragrances as well. If I'm st sounding still nasal, sorry, I have got fever today. So, popped pills and then shooting. So, please excuse the nasal voice and if I cough, please excuse that as well. Okay. Now, the middle notes has got floral elements of rose and jasmine. The rose here is um, I would say a bit dicey because uh, the first impression of this fragrance I did liked it I enjoyed the rose but then after I had this coffin cold there was a day I spritzed it when I was, I was testing see I have used till this part one day I didn't like it it was too overwhelming and I was sneezing continuously and all I could smell was rose and the pepper then when that died down uh, I became better <clears throat> and this is a f recent one actually that I've got uh, so when I became better I sprayed it like today also I just have a little fever but my uh, smelling capacity and everything is just fine don't worry it's not corona hopefully so the rose here now smells very beautiful and very well blended with the jasmine it's not offensive it's quite nice it's just that I was not fit enough to smell it and uh, understand the fragrance that day when I was hating the rose and the rose part was only that I could smell. So that's the middle note. 
The base has got musk and patchouli, which makes this a very strong fragrance. So this is something, like I said, is extremely strong. So you cannot go overboard with it. You have to be careful about the amount of spritzes you are showering on yourself for this one. Now, I uh, when I was searching for the notes and I went to the Bella Vita's website and I found that all of their fragrances are inspiration fragrances. So basically, they are dupes. Now, this one is inspired from Ralph Lauren's Romance. Now, I haven't smelled Romance, so I'm not the right person to compare, to be very honest. But nonetheless, if this is a dupe for a very famous, because Ralph Lauren's Romance, it will be expensive, isn't it? Ralph Lauren itself is a luxe brand. So if it's a dupe of a fragrance from their line, then I would highly recommend you to try this one because as a scent, this is a beauty. This is the perfect date night scent. This is the perfect wedding scent, uh, parties and all, but definitely not picnics. This is not an outdoorsy scent. This beauty will be um, befitting a closed gathering where it's a fun and frolic environment. Don't compare that with office. I mean, that is why I didn't say it's office. Office, it's a serious environment. You can't, people will be working close to each other. They are, they are, their mind is on something else. Now, this will be too much for them, probably. That is why most of our offices are AC. It's concealed. So, the mood is different. This is not the mood that will go on with an office setting, but definitely goes on with any party uh, setting and all extremely love this it wears like a beast the performance you get out of this fragrance is minimum five hours on my skin and this lasts this is called an edp and it performs like an edp it lasts and it clings on to your pulse point and or your dress like i um, sprayed this on my sweater one of the days and uh, after two three days when i wore that sweater it still smelled of this so this is strong so you have to be careful how much you are going to layer it on yourself i don't see any age bracket if you are into um, if being a teenager you are into a bit mature fragrances this will be good for you and if you are into 20s 30s 40s or 50s you will definitely definitely enjoy this so i don't see any age bracket gender i am never gender biased when it comes to fragrances so it doesn't matter if you like the scent please feel free to wear it so don't restrict yourself there and uh, seasonal I, I'm not associating any season on this because I associate events with this, not season. If you're wearing this on a, a wedding ceremony that is in June as well, but you're not over spritzing, this will work and it will work the same. So it's an all year round fragrance, not leaning towards any specific season. So that's this one. Um, I'm not saying about the individual price points for the tester. The entire set of six testers retails for rupees six five nine nine six hundred rupees. So if you break it down to six fragrance, you are paying basically hundred rupees per ten ml, which is a great thing if you are trying out and figuring out if this fragrance is for you or not. For me, definitely a great recommendation and a yay from my side. Moving on to a fragrance which is called Rose. Now, if you have seen my initial impression, if you haven't, I'll link it up right here. I sprayed it and I was disgusted because this is a flat rose note. I felt nothing else apart from rose and rose, nothing else at all. Trust me, my opinion for this has somewhat changed. Not entirely, but somewhat changed. But yes, I can bear it. Okay. <clears throat> Now, why am I saying I can bear it? This is flat. I mean, when I check Bella Vita's website as well, they just mentioned rose. I mean, top, middle, base, everything is just rose. That means this is a single note fragrance. People who are into single note fragrances, specifically they are into rose fragrances, they will absolutely love this fragrance. But what about people who are not rose lovers like me? I love the rose flower, but I don't like smelling like a rose bouquet or anything. I don't like the scent of rose in food or in um, form of a fragrance, although I love the flowers. But this after a while, like right now, it is a very plain bland rose fragrance in, uh, as per my nose. But what happens after you wear it for some time, 
this slowly mellows down into becoming the sweeter rose variant that and very light and inoffensive one which you get in dabar gulabari now you know me if you know me you would know that i am not a rose girl but dabar gulabari is something i have used for a long long time when i was a teenager for my uh, skin care and all. so that is something nostalgic for me and that is something that i don't particularly dislike so since it mellows down to become that double gulabri like thing i can bear it so i still don't love it if you think that i'll be recommending this uh uh you're not getting a recommendation for this because this is a flat perfume if you are into one note perfumes then you can try but it's a flat perfume i don't like it but i'm not hating it so it's a neutral feeling that i have for this fragrance now i when mean, i was checking about inspiration they haven't even mentioned what has been their inspiration they just wrote inspired by rose perfume now rose perfume can be anything and everything what is the inspiration i don't know but this is so basic and so generic this can be any rose fragrance and that's it so not supremely happy was never expecting much from rose anyway but the only uh, silver lining to my dark cloud with roses is that i can bear it i don't have to throw it away or uh, we have a hard time finishing i can uh, use it up some way or the other so that's for rose um oh the longevity is something that is good here as well this zdp this rose yeah one second i forgot to tell you this now the rose fragrance like i said when it mellows down it becomes a beautiful dabar gulabari like thing which uh, after a day if you are smelling your uh, pulse points trust me this even with stood my shower after the rigorous scrubbing and rubbing it withstood so it's strong it clings on to your pulses so if that is like too much for you then stay away these are strong then you have to stay away from all the bella vita fragrances because bella vita fragrances are strong that is a common thing that i have seen here so if strong fragrances are not your thing this entire range is not for you dear So stay away from it. But if you are into strong fragrances and flat, this one might be a good one. Not an issue. Yeah, but does it have my recommendation? No. I will. I rarely recommend rose fragrances because rose fragrances doesn't impress me. I don't like the scent. So that is a personal thing. And please forgive my chipped nails. So I didn't have my health condition to take care of them. So never mind. Um, that's so the longevity like i said it would stood the shower next day that means it lasts it lasts even next day so quite happy uh, about that season and all that or occasion i cannot place my finger on but yeah this can act as a good um wedding scent for people who are into roses since i am not it's very hard for me to picture i somebody wearing this to any occasion if i be honest so i cannot place this in all the categories i usually place for my uh, fragrances anyways this is a 10 ml will use up it's okay <laughs> and finally i have gold let's spray this and find out now gold is something probably one of the most complex fragrances in this entire range okay you have got a tons of notes here here and together it uh, all creates a, a fruity floral uh, gourmandish kind of a thing okay let me read it i read out the notes because there were so many it was hard to remember so the top you have got bergamot incense mirabelle plum which is kind of a sweet one when i researched i found out i don't know i only know the basic plum which by itself is a sweet variant right then you have blackberry so you have you have got four uh, notes at the top at the middle you have got amber burgundy rose uh, geranium and uh, peony yeah which again lends to the floral and citrusy bit of the fragrance and the base has got dark vanilla laudanum vetiver balsam and musk now with the notes covered let me tell you how i feel it with uh, the starting of um, the fruity bit honestly i don't smell the bergamot because i don't associate freshness with it no i only associate sweetness the fruity part of the plum and 
blackberry and together with the incense thing the dhoop wala smell that is exactly what is there even that is precisely why this color i mean not precisely because it has got amber so you will get this kind of a ambery golden color and the naming is done very accurately it has a gold color golden color the name gold is just about justified so i can smell the fruity bit from the start then it moves on to the beautiful floral and the ambery bit now this is where this fragrance is different from others because amber is something that i mostly see in uh, base notes rarely it is there in heart notes but when it is it creates a beautiful concoction and finally at the base you have that yeah the vanilla is there which is why it is um, having that gourmandish feel the vetiver the labdanum all of these create a bit of a animalic a bit of a musky very um, intoxicating scent it is also a perfect date night scent now if i have to compare glam and gold and tell you which would be a better date night scent this is going to be the one gold is going to be the perfect date night scent if i compare it to glam because this is more sensual it is more dark it is more inviting so this is also an inspiration of bath and body works dark kiss so i have dark kiss i have sprayed those two uh, next to each other this the overall feel of it is quite similar so this has been done pretty nicely and i'm happy because um, this lasts longer and stronger than dark kiss, uh, kiss because this is an edp that you're looking at and dark kiss is a body mist it is good it smells uh, wonderful as well it's just that it doesn't last a lot because that is how body uh, bath and body works scents are right we all know that the lasting power is not its major forte it is the variety of the scents that it has in its ambit that is why you reach out and buy a bath and body works uh, body mist isn't it now if you want to smell and have an element of dark kiss in your life without spending a lot like uh, 600 or 700 for a smaller variant and full variants are what 1400 1500 then you can definitely reach out for this one now if i have to pick between these three the order will be gold glam and rose of course the rose will come last as well all of you know me so not a shock but overall in the hierarchy of things if i see all the six fragrances and if i have to um, rate them as per my preference it would be flora senorita and gold fighting for the same spot so three are best in my opinion and i can't pick which is more uh, appropriate for i mean which is better then comes fresh then comes uh, no fresh and glam would be on the second and last would be rose I cannot uh, associate just one fragrance to one category because I like them equally so it would be unfair to just pick one and rate it in 1 to 6 rather than I rate it in 1 to 3 and that covers the entire range of Bella Vita perfumes so that's it for today uh, I hope uh, this review was helpful because you were asking me again and again for Bella Vita reviews so it uh, took some time to review six fragrances and i thought i cannot review that in one video because then you will be stuck here with me for eternity i take a lot of time to cover all the aspects oh my apologies this one gold is not restrictive to any age but again uh, because of the vanilla it is more versatile because teenagers will also enjoy and um, mature women will also enjoy mid aged women will also enjoy uh, why am i saying women because this fragrance is slightly feminine if i may say according to my taste that doesn't mean men can't wear it okay even if a fragrance is feminine if it smells good please wear it don't allow these um, titles to dictate your uh, judgment for purchasing a, a fragrance if it smells good go ahead and wear it nobody can judge you on that and even if they do who cares So yeah, this everybody can wear, but yeah, slightly feminine, like I said, and um, seasonal. I think winter is more appropriate for this. This is more versatile, but this is not all the year uh, round scent. But yes, if you are going out on a date um, in spring 
and or in autumn you can definitely wear it it might be a bit sweet and pretty uh, which will not work well in summers that's what i feel but if you are comfortable and confident that you can carry out uh, i mean you can wear and uh, carry a gourmandish sweet dark fragrance even in summers feel free to do this I have nobody to tell you you shouldn't wear it but yeah as for my liking i can associate it with mostly winter then spring or autumn not summers so that is the age bracket the gender thing and the seasonal part as well so yes with that we have come to the end of this video i hope this was useful for you and if it was um i just request you to give this video a like share it with your friends and comment in the comment section which of the fragrances do you think you will be purchasing next from the Bella Vita's range? And if my review is on the same lines as you, if you have experienced what have been your experience, just let me know. We can get that comment section a bit chatty. And uh, the product links will be there in the description box so that you, if you want, you can check it out. You can purchase. I will also leave the testers uh, set link in the description box in case you want to check it out. And my description box will also have my social media details. I love chatting with you I, on Instagram. Whoever contacts me, I feel great to have a discussion with you. We can stay connected there as well. And if you are here till now, then thank you. And please, before you leave, spare a moment to subscribe to this channel. And ring the bell icon next to it so that you're notified for all my future uploads. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy.